lot of people have been asking me about this chest pack they've been seeing in my videos and in my posts. So today I want to take you through this chest pack, talk about why I carry it and what I carry in it and how it fits the layered system that I put together for my bushcraft, for my camping, hiking, whatever you want to call it. This is what I use and hopefully it'll give you some ideas on how to set up a chest pack for your own personal use. All right, so what is um, so fantastic about a chest pack is that it puts a lot of the gear that you need to utilize really close and um, easily accessible when you're wearing a backpack. And that's really the whole point. This is not something I'm gonna be just wearing out all the time without a backpack, but if I'm shouldering a bag and I'm going out for two or three days, um, there are things I want to be able to get to quickly and you can't do that um, with certain items because you have shoulder straps, you have a hip belt, all those things kind of restrict uh, your movement but also restrict how you can access gear um, and the chest pack if organized properly can really be um, quick grab and go items but also backups to items that you may have in your pack. You want to think about the chest pack as a layered system. This is just one piece of layering. Of course we have our EDC. Um, you know I'm always going to carry um, a pocket knife uh, of some sort, my wallet, um, maybe a lighter, something like that on my person my cell phone but once I put that hip belt on now I can't access another item which I always like to carry when I'm on trail and that is a handgun. Handguns to me um, particularly in the areas that I go is an essential piece of gear. I feel I need it. I've run into situations and people that I'm not comfortable with and having that peace of mind of having a concealed weapon um, is just it's a great thing and you can't do that if you have a big bulky backpack with a hip belt so the chest pack solves that issue um, you know it it helps alleviate other people that you pass on the trail they don't they don't have that fear because they don't see a gun um, and most people don't even understand what this is you know to them it's you know maybe it's a binocular case or bird watching stuff or whatever but they don't know what's in this unless they know and if they know they're gonna leave you alone anyway so but there are also other tools that I carry in this that I want to be able to grab and get to easily in case I am um, leaving my pack somewhere and I'm going off trail, maybe scouting an area and I'm leaving my pack at camp and I want to just take some water with me and I want some essentials with me. Chest pack is a great way to do it because it is very comfortable and easy to carry. So let's take a look at the items inside. All right, so here's the Bastion Gear chest pack. Molly on the front, Velcro field on the front. What I like to do is I want to have some items that I can grab quickly on the outside of the pack. I have my SE knife in this Kydex sheath. That's the JG3. And that is um, on a tech lock that connects to the Molly. Now, if I want to take this off and put this on my belt, I can do that. Another item I want to gain access to quickly is my tourniquet. Um, tourniquet, of course, if I injure myself with a knife or an axe, or if there's someone in my group who inj injures themselves, I have that ability um, of stopping a bleed very quickly. And this is actually in... Um, a military um, tourniquet case that I dyed green. It was the Air Force um, uh, digital camo, that kind of gray blue color. Over dyed it with some green, turned out great, and that mounts to the bottom of my chest pack. Um, but that gives me the option of grabbing that tourniquet very quickly. Now, the front pouch 
I have Honey Stinger Waffle. That's just a good um, high energy snack to keep me going while I'm on trail. Um, some Boo Boo items. Got some moleskin, some leaves, some off wipes, of course, um, band aids, some eye drops. So, just different things that in case I need to treat a minor injury, I can do that. Keep a bandana. Of course, a map of the area that I'm in. A notebook. I like right in the rain for obvious reasons. Um, a good compass, and I prefer um, a sighting compass like this. This is an old Silver Ranger that is um, a fantastic compass. I use this in search and rescue for many years. That was my go-to compass, and I still use that. It's got my pace beads on it. Um, inside, um, I carry a small light, and that way I can do map reading. And it's not super bright, so it doesn't ruin my night vision or alert my position to other people. Just, it's nice and low key. Of course, I want to. I want some backup fire making stuff just in case. So I've got an Exotac Bic lighter case. Uh, these are things that are awesome. I love this. Um, keeps the lighter protected, especially in cold weather. It gives it a little bit of insulation. And also, it's just easy to grab and easy to find. Um, trail marking tape. Really a great item to have. Um, just to, to mark your position. Um, if you're lost or if you're going on a route that you're unfamiliar with, just having a little bit of this. Tearing off a piece, putting it on a branch, marking a location of something. Um, it's just a great item to have. Of course, back to fire making stuff. I like to have some kind of means of starting a fire and sustaining a fire. So what I use is this live fire. And if you're not familiar with this stuff, it's pretty cool. Okay, so now I've got a fire going. And I can put that underneath um, twigs or whatever I've got going for, for tinder, and then when I'm done with it, I can close it, and now it's out. I also have a ferro rod. It's a fairly new one. You get this one broken in. Of course, a small multi-tool is really handy. I don't like carrying big, bulky multi-tools all the time, but having this little SOG power pint um, on me just gives me the ability to fix things in the field, especially since I'm working with video gear, um, but also gives me some basic tools um, as a backup to what I normally carry, um, including things like scissors, which are a fantastic item to have on trail. And then on here, of course, I've got a whistle. I've got the good old um, military issue uh, can opener. And then this is an item I've had for a very long time. This is a signal mirror. I don't know if these are even made anymore, but it's kind of a mini signal mirror along with a reflective sighting mirror on it. And then, of course, I keep a couple pens to work with. And then one other item that I like to have, um, which I think is really a game changer if you gotta start fires, is having some kind of saw. And this is a flexible uh, wire saw. And this one really is what I found to probably be the best one on the market right now. Because look at the teeth on that thing. It is aggressive. And we can show that in action. So 
So that's essentially all the items that I'm carrying in this bag. It's all pretty much backup stuff. Oh, and then finally, the last thing, of course, in the back is my firearm. And that's nicely, safely tucked away. And it's easily accessible. So like I was saying, this is a layering system. This is not a dedicated, um, full-blown survival kit. There's a lot of things that are not in here. Um, there's more things you could add, but once you start adding stuff, you're adding weight, um, and that's going to bog you down. I like to keep this thing as light as possible. I'm really focusing in on a few things like fire making, navigation, um, tools and protection and then a little bit of first aid and some energy food things like that so um, if you're interested in these chest packs definitely check out bastion gear i'll have a, a link to his etsy store um, really well made stuff uh, 500d cordura got the water repellent um, zipper and um, just you know nice hardware everything's it's just really well made it's really right on par with a lot of the other um, top manufacturers like Hill People Gear and stuff like that so I, I haven't found any problems with it and it's really comfortable um, I like the size of it <clears throat> I like just um, the layout of the pockets it really fits the way I want to carry my stuff and um, it has become a really favorite item of mine to carry with my backpack when I'm going out, even for day hikes, because then I've got all my little things with me. I can get to them quickly, um, and I don't feel like I'm um, skimping or leaving anything um, behind um, if I do run into a situation. And um, just having that peace of mind, I think, is so important. That's my bag. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, as always, please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Hit that like button. Um, help that um, algorithm out a little bit. And make sure you check out the affiliate links down below. Also check out the Facebook group, getting really big. Lots of extra content on there. Check out my Instagram. Check out the Amazon store. All that good stuff. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.